Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Let's Make a Mech. Um, no Van Hellbringer Edition Part 4. Haven't forgotten about it. I've just been real busy. Really haven't been able to do these guys in a while. Um, but I've gotten some time and hopefully I can get these guys finished um, a lot quicker than it took to get to this step. And uh, basically this step, since it's been a while, is getting the main uh, color of the mech done, which is the Fortress Grey. And what I did is I went from the cast black in which we last saw them, then I put a, a, a coat of Adeptus Battle Grey over that, then I did Fortress Grey. The reason I picked Battle Grey instead of Codex Grey is because being a foundation paint, it gets better coverage. And I'm not looking for 100% full-on coverage of the Adeptus Battle Grey before doing the Fortress Grey. I'm looking for just uh, a strong coverage. And Codex Grey over cast black is a little... Um, I don't want to say watery or thin, but uh, it doesn't give as uh, strong a gray that I want for the under color. I just get a, I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's purely a mental thing, but I feel I get more coverage of the Fortress Gray over the Adeptus Battle Gray than I do over Black. That's why I do it that way. And I don't just go straight for Adeptus Battle Gray, which you could in theory. I don't do it because Pewter likes to chip a bit, so the more layers of paint to have on it before uh, the Fortress Grey, uh, the better my chances that it won't ship and I can seal it and it'll be fine. Uh, so that's why I did it that way. Now we got the Nova and the Hellbringer here. Uh, we've seen them go from uh, poorly painted, uh, stripped down and reassembled to now. And the next step is pretty much finishing up the mech all except for one step. All of the painting will pretty much be finished up in the next step. And um, as you can see, I'll show you on the uh, the Hellbringer. You can see the gray has gotten onto the base a little bit. That's fine, no big deal. Like I said, we'll be touching up the base, um, not in this step, but in the next step. So, what is our next step then? Well, when I say th this step and next step, I mean not this next step, but the step after. If that made any sense for the base. We're not touching the base now. This next step coming up is um, doing a little detail work onto the model, and that includes the Jaguar spots being smooth Jaguar mechs. Um, I'm going with one rendition of the Alpha Galaxy, which is the top half has got Jaguar spots on it. Um, so I'm going to do that. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go back to Adeptus Battle Grey to use those as blotches. Then I'm going to use Chaos Black as a liner around it. Now I actually looked up Jaguar spots to kind of see how they look. And not all the spots have a full on liner of black. Meaning uh, sometimes it's three quarters, sometimes it's a bit on the left side, a bit on the right side. And the uh, top and bottom don't have any black around it. I've tested all those out on the other mechs and they work. What, I mean, what that means is is uh, you don't have to go all the way around the, in black all the time. You can vary it up a bit, have different shape blotches a bit, and go from there. It'll look good. Uh, one thing's for sure, however, you definitely need the black liner around a Jaguar spot. Putting just, um, or another darker color than the spot around it. In the case being gray, the black works well. Um, black should be a good go-to color for the spots. Unless, of course, you have a black main color and you're going for different colored spots. but. You have to figure that out on your own. Basically, um, the Jaguar spots are going on the top half of the mech only. The bottom half is going to stay this gray. Then we're going to do, what well, I'm going to do, I should say, the cockpit lenses. And the cockpit lenses are going to be in shadow gray. I'm going to put some scab red on these guys just to kind of give them a touch of color a little bit. And then some minor metallics where needed on the models. And that's it sounds like a lot because it's multiple different colors, if you will, and uh, the spots can be a little time consuming, but they go pretty quick, to be honest. Um, and it's a case of once you figure out the size and the amount you want, then it's a case of just how fast can you do it. So, uh, with the Nova on the left here, it's going to be a little interesting to try and figure out how to do the top half. I think what I'm going to do is pretty much the cockpit area, this little like uh, cockpit area here, and the arms, and I may leave the legs blank completely just to kind of tie in the whole top half idea. 
Oh, knocked down the Hellbringer. So that's it. The next step will be just doing those colors, like I said. The spots, some scab red, um, the cockpit lens, or the cockpit uh, windows, and the um, metallic detail work. And any other lenses but that may be there, but I don't think these guys have any other real lenses. Except for the Hellbringer, maybe. And then um, what I'll do is after doing that, we'll I'll do another video talking about the step and then what's to come. So getting close to completion. Um, this gray is a very nice, smoky, almost even ghostly gray to use as a base if we were going for a very like gray granite type of look, or um, like a light gray granite, or if you're going for a smoky type of color scheme to something. I think Fortress Gray is very nice. Never really used it in mass, and having done a few mechs with it, I do like the Fortress Gray color. So, um, that's pretty much it. If you're worried about it being bland and kind of the details not really popping, don't worry. Uh, there is one more step after this, and that'll really make the model pop. So, uh, that's it. And hopefully the next part won't take forever to come. And until next time, take it easy.